water fireworks for this experiment you will need a glass a bowl oil any food coloring and a fork so first fill the glass with some water now take oil into the bowl add few drops of food coloring into the bowl with oil here i have used blue color blue food color you can use any other food coloring also or also you can use it with multiple food colors now using the fork stir the oil into the food coloring so that the food coloring breaks into some small drops pour the oil and coloring mixture into the glass of water and let's watch what happens next the food coloring will slowly sink in the glass with each droplet expanding outwards at it as it falls it looks just like a firework now how does this happen food coloring dissolves in water but not in oil so when we pour our food coloring oil the oil will float at the top of water because it is less dense and the food coloring will begin to dissolve when they sink through the oil and into the water this experiment works on the principle of density which is the measure of mass per unit volume which means that the heavier liquid will sink to the bottom and the lighter ones will float on top now let's perform the same experiment with the food color powder before i had used food color liquid but now i am using food color powder to see if the same experiment happens or not here i have taken yellow food color red and green food color powders and i have now i am mixing them together if the food colors are mixed together we will pour it into the glass of water Uh, the same thing happens that the food colors sink to the bottom and the oil is floating at the top of water but no fireworks can be seen here demonstration 2 surface tension acting on water for this experiment you will need a bowl paper clips and dim liquid pour water into the bowl Take some paper clips Open the first paper clip completely so that you can use it to add the paper clips to the water very slowly You can see the paper clips are floating on the top of water Similarly add few more paper clips to the bowl of water. Now, why do these paper clips float on water? They float because of surface tension of water. Now, what is surface tension? Surface tension is the tendency of any liquid surface to shrink into the minimum surface area possible, which means that the elastic tendency of any fluid surface to allow small objects to float on it now take any dishwash liquid here i am taking dim liquid you can use any other liquid dishwasher you will see as soon as the dishwash is added the floating paper clips drop to the bottom of the bowl almost immediately now if i try to add to more paper clips they sink to the bottom directly or the dishwash acts as a surfactant which reduces the surface tension of science corner demonstration 4 slime making 
For this experiment, you will need a bowl, some shampoo, spoon, and corn flour. Cut out the shampoo and pour it into the bowl. Here I have used Clinique Plus shampoo. You can use any other shampoo of your choice. Now add some corn flour powder to the bowl and mix it well. Now you can see here it is a smooth paste, but you need to make it more hard. So add some more corn flour to it. Aim of this experiment is to examine how simple substance can be mixed together to form a new substance with some unique chemical properties. In nature, butterfish excrete some slime to avoid radiation. Slime can provide hours of fun, act as a great stress reliever, and also can help learn many important chemical principles. The ingredients used, that is, shampoo and corn flour, can be mixed together to form a foam spline that can be played with. It is really sticky and hard to get off fingers. Also, we use this as a play. The slime once made is chemically changed and cannot be reverted back to the shampoo and corn flour. People even use slime for cleaning purposes. That is to clean their keyboard, especially the laptops, picking up dust from the phone or a PC.